In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to write equations for combustion reactions. Question one reads, write a balanced equation for the combustion of liquid methyl alcohol. That's its chemical formula. And in a combustion reaction, what you have is a fuel reacting with oxygen gas, and this forms water vapor and carbon dioxide gas. So let's write that down. We have CH3OH plus oxygen. This yields, with the help of heat, water vapor, H2 gas, plus CO2 gas. And we're told that this is liquid and this is gas. Let's survey the elements. We have C, H, and O on both sides. We have one carbon, four hydrogens, and three oxygens. On the right side, I have two hydrogens, three oxygens, and one carbon. I'll start by balancing out the C and the H. I'll leave the oxygens for last because oxygen is found in every molecule or compound in this chemical reaction. So starting with carbon, I'll place a two here. This gives me two. And the amount of oxygens goes from three to five. Next, I'll put a two here to balance out the carbons. This gives me two carbons now on the left side, eight hydrogens, and two times one is two plus two is four, four oxygens. Next, I'll place a four in front of water. This gives me eight water molecules on the right side. And the amount of oxygens goes from five to six. Four times one is four, plus two times two is four is eight. Now all I have to do is place a three in front of this oxygen molecule. This gives me six plus two, and that is equal to eight. It looks perfectly balanced, and I can move on to question number two. Write a balanced chemical equation for the complete combustion of liquid C2H5SH. Now this one's interesting because the fuel here contains sulfur, and we don't normally see fuels containing sulfur, especially with combustion reactions. Let's get started. Our fuel will still have the oxygen reacting to it, and you'll end up producing water vapor and carbon dioxide gas. But this S will end up forming sulfur dioxide gas as well. So we have C2. H5SH, and that's liquid, plus O2, gas. This yields H2O, gas, plus CO2 gas, and sulfur dioxide gas, which is SO2G. Let's survey all the elements. We have C, H, O, and S on both sides. Two on the left side for carbon, and on the right side we have one. We have six hydrogens on the left side, one sulfur. On the right side we have two hydrogens coming from here, one sulfur. And over here we have two oxygens. On the right side we have one, two, three, four, five. Nothing here is balanced except for the sulfurs, which is expected. So I'll place a two in front of the carbon dioxide. That gives me two carbon dioxides, but the oxygens go from 5 to 4, 5, 6, 7. I'll try to balance the hydrogens by placing a 3 here. That gives me 6 hydrogens, but the oxygens change again from 7 to 9. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9. And if I place a 4.5 right here, I'll end up with 4.5 times 2 is 9. Now I know you don't like fractions, but it's fun because all you do at this stage is write down all the coefficients. So this coefficient was one. This coefficient is 4.5, which is the same thing as nine over two. This is three, two, and one. To clear the denominator, this two, I need to multiply each of these numbers by the lowest common denominator, which in our case is simple, it's two. So multiplying this by two, I end up with two, this becomes 9, this becomes 6, 4, and 2. So if I place these numbers as the coefficients of each of these chemicals, I end up with my balanced chemical equation. And that is how to write equations for combustion reactions.